Hey guys, and welcome to Words of Scale. So the video today was inspired by Jesse Cunningham, and he's a, an SEO expert, great channel. I watch it a lot, lots of value, and I invite everyone to sign up or subscribe to Jesse's channel. And I'm talking about this video here, which is why ChatGPT Online being AI, Harp and WebPilot is terrible for SEO or whatever. And he has some very good points that I agree with. So the first point is that there is a growing over-reliance on AI tools. And then, yes, you have to do your keyword research, you have to do your clustering, you have to compile your list of RSI, you need to be good at outlining, you need to have a proper article structure in mind to, in order to rank. And he's also advocating long articles, so in excess of 3,000 words, in order to rank for a lot of keywords. And me being an advocate for helpful content, I fully agree with that. And in his video, he's showing this article here, which is types of mesothelioma lawsuits. <laughs> Sorry, this is a tongue twister. Types of mesothelioma lawsuits. Doesn't matter. So this is a YMYL niche, a very well structured article. And he goes on to say that no AI tool is capable of helping you get suggestions on how to outrank this article. And it's within the SEO and basically the human mind to find the gaps and do all the things necessary to outrank this particular article. And he then goes on and tries to prompt first Harpa and then ChatGPT. And in return, he gets very generic results. Some of them are here on the screen. So ChatGPT is saying that in order to outrank this article, you need to include keywords, optimize headings, use meta titles, internal and external links. So everything that we know already. So I thought I would give it a shot. So I will be using the same prompt here. And yes, SEO is not only content, it is backlinks, it's domain authority, it's the way you structure your silos and many different things. Sure. But here we are talking about content only, and Jesse was primarily focusing on content. So let's go to GPT-4. We'll be using WebPilot, which is by far my favorite plugin. And again, the prompts that, we're going to, we, that we are going to be using is extremely simple, and it's going to be in our prompts library. You are an expert in SEO and copywriting, skilled in research and crafting the most comprehensive of articles that rank on Google. Use WebPilot to read and this is the URL of that article. Determine the search intent, find gaps in content, and suggest additional subtopics to cover with within the narrative of the article. So let's see if we are too going to be getting some generic advice from GBD. So okay, the web pilot has started. And it's read the article, nice. So it goes on to determine the search intent. The search intent for this article is informational and transactional. The article provides comprehensive information about mesothelioma lawsuits, including types of lawsuits, eligibility, key states of litigation, blah, 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 content gaps. Asbestos exposure prevention, the article could benefit from a section on how to prevent asbestos exposure, case studies, the article mentions notable asbestos lawsuits verdicts, but it doesn't uh, delve into the specifics of these cases. Life after a lawsuit. The article could also cover what life might look like after a lawsuit and FAQ section. While the article does answer some common questions, a dedicated FAQ section could be beneficial. And this is the only one I have problems with since the FAQ section of this article is quite detailed. So where is it? This one here. So one, two, three, four, five questions. Yes, it could have been more detailed, but it's not a gap, at least not in my opinion. And then additional subtopics based on the identified content gaps. Here are some additional subtopics that could be included in the article. Preventing asbestos exposure, understanding mesothelioma lawsuits, look at a notable case studies, life after a mesothelioma lawsuit. <laughs> frequently asked questions and you can probably disregard number four but these three are not generic 
these are based on the content gaps that GPT-4 determined and I think you can use this prompt for sure to try and outrank your target article, at least when it comes to content. So that's it. Shout out to Jesse. I'm not sure if he's going to watch this video, but he's great at what he's doing. And like, share and subscribe if you haven't already. And I'll see you next time.